What is going on, everybody? Damagot here, and welcome into another video. We're going to be hopping into the Great League again with a climbing team for everybody. Shadow Glagger on the lead, Dugong, and Shadow Swampert in the back. The GOAT as Jamie Finn. Shout out to the Shadow King Lord himself is coming back into full strength for the Great League. So let's hop into these batches here. Check out this team. And if you haven't already, go check out Jamie Finn because he's an awesome content creator and an amazing battler at that. So amazing lead here, hopping in to the dugong for my opponent and i'm gonna mirror match my own so this isn't the best considering i'm gonna be a turn behind they are gonna drill run i will shield up the first one just so i can preserve switch advantage as i do want the glygar on the annihilate i'm gonna go for icy wind here just so i can limit the amount of damage they're gonna be outputting here now drill run is not gonna be doing as much damage and now we should just be able to flip switch advantage here because my drill runs are gonna be doing more theirs are going to be doing less thanks to the thanks to that icy wind debuff my goodness gracious i can talk don't worry about me uh get a no shield the next one and then i'm gonna throw four ice <laughs> Ice shards and the next move, but they decide to hop into their annihilate. Quite fine by me. I have my aerial ace locked and loaded, and I should just be able to farm down before they make it to the shadow ball. Absolutely amazing. They should have thrown the night slash there just for some um, chip damage, but I think they just wanted farm on their dugong here. What I should be doing is going for the aerial ace. They're probably going to be shielding this move up anyways, and two aerial aces I would have got to two, and that may have just been enough to knock out the dugong or taking both of them shields. So. But doesn't really matter anyways. Drill Run going to be doing some massive damage. They have a Bassy done in the back and they know it's over. They top left. GG's well played to my opponent there. Shadow Swampert scaring the pants or I guess the shield off of that Bassy on. So good game. I'll be in the next matchup here. Pretty good lead here. <clears throat> Psycho Boost is going to do some decent damage, but their hard hitting Thunderbolt is going to be double resist or resisted due to our ground typing. They do hop into an Umbreon, and I do believe this is going to be that Deoxys Umbreon Dugong team. So not the best for my Gligar, but uh, hopefully Shadow Swampert is going to be able to carry us through this game. Foul play <clears throat> going to be coming through, doing some nice damage here. I want to get this Icy Wind off, but not before a second uh, Foul Play comes in. So I throw two more Ice Shards and then the Icy Wind just to make sure that I get the debuff off and their next Foul Play is not going to do as much damage. So that's what's so good about Dugong. Being able to debuff your opponent consistently and doing Ice Shard damage on top of it, it's very nice. And plus, Dugong is an absolute bulk machine. Not able to get the full KO there, but we snipe them with the... Gligar here gonna go for the aerial ace as I think I can make it the two aerial aces before they make it Oh, they come in with a dugong. So uh, there yeah <laughs> Kind of a five head play on my end not giving them as much farm But able to get double aerial ace off and we win charge attack priority for this drill run as my dugong has a little bit of a higher attack stat and from here I can now let my uh, dugong go drill run gonna be able to take us out We are gonna get an icy wind debuff, but all I have to do is manage my energy correctly and make sure I save a shield for a Psycho Boost. So, gonna throw four more Mud Shots and then the Hydro Cannon here. Hydro Cannon from this health range is definitely gonna KO. This is a Shadow Swampert. Even though it is resisted, Dugong's bulky. Swampert is an absolute beast. I threw four Mud Shots because they did six counters, I do believe. So, I'll try to go on the CMP tie, but they are doubling up here. I'm gonna shield the first one. Hopefully, we can survive the second one. We are at the back-to-back -back Hydro Cannons. That was a CMP tie, everybody. Is this Psycho Boost going to be enough to KO the Swampert? Let's check it out here. Praying to gosh almighty, we live on one HP and a dream. Let's go. Hydro Cannon knocking out the Deoxys. That's going to be a good game. Well played to my opponent there. Woo! Sweat dribbling down the forehead. Lantern lead, as long as it's not on Water Gun, this is a pretty good matchup for the Gligar, as that spark nerf is gonna tip this whole matchup for the Gligar's favor. We get the first shield, that is absolutely amazing. I'm gonna no shield the surf, we can survive it. These sparks are resisted, so there is no need for me to shield that move. And if they shield this move, that is even better. Shadow Swampert up two shields and is an absolute beast. And they decide to hop into an Abomastone. Now I have to remember they do have some residual energy here. I will shield up this move as it, they did build up enough for the energy ball here. Energy ball, not enough to KO, but I did want to preserve some health here just so that their next energy ball didn't do as much damage. This is definitely energy ball, but I don't want to spend both my shields on the Dugong as Dugong is going to be the bulk for this team. I'm going to throw three ice shards and then the icy wind for proper move timing. Icy wind going to be taking care of that Abomasnow, and I'm hoping I preserved enough energy here to get to the next move, but 
My opponent's gonna throw a surf. It's probably gonna be enough to take us out. It's not, and I preserve the dugong here, and it's like revving it in the back. The good thing is, is that two hydro cannons knock out. The bad thing is, is that they have a shield. And, but the good thing is, again, we should be able to outpace. Uh, no. Can we outpace to the third one? Let's see. Hydro cannon gonna be coming in. Now, we don't have post outpace the third, but they're trying to over farm, which allows me to get to this third hydro cannon. They should have thrown sooner. Hydro cannon, left, right, good night to that Trevenant. They hop into the uh, lantern here, and I'm going to come back in with the icy wind just for a little bit of bad manners here to take out the lantern. That's going to be a good game. Well played to my opponent there. Whew. So, hopping into the next matchup here. Gligar in the Reggie Steel. Beautiful lead again here. All moves are going to be resisted. They hop into a, a Lowland Sand Slash. Sand Slash. Now, I don't technically need switch advantage here since I do have the Swampert to go onto that Reggie Steel. So, all I really want to do is grab shields with the drill runs here. First drill run, grabbing the first shield. That is absolutely beautiful here. And I do believe we do live this move, or I do shield it. Yeah. I want to get all shields down. So, I throw one Ice Shard and then the next drill run here. This drill run is going to grab the second shield, which is amazing on my end. Can we get to another one? I could get to one, but I didn't want to expend the second shield. So what I'm going to do here is come in with the Swampert. One, two, three, four, five. They're throwing the Ice Punch here. And I'm going to over farm by two because I wasn't technically count one. Sorry, I wasn't counting how much residual energy they had, which is kind of a misplay on my part. But uh, could have probably over farm one or two more. Regardless, we still outpace the earthquake. This earthquake is gonna one shot left, right, good night. And now out comes Amanda Buzz. Gonna be throwing on seven mud shots here for the proper timing. Uh, Hydro Cannon gonna be doing a massive amount of damage here. And then we could live this Dark Pulse. Yeah, we live on one HP. Let's go, Shadow Swampert. Coming in clutch, that Hydro Cannon. Puts them into Aerial Ace range. Dark Pulse, definitely not going to be enough to one shot here. here. Going to throw one and then the move. And this Aerial Ace should win us the game. And that's going to be a good game. Well played to my opponent there. That one didn't get sweaty, but uh, we definitely took that one. Uh, on to the next game. Glagar into Charger Bug. Another great lead. Glagar picking up all the leads today. Uh, they hop into a Dugong. And I don't have a solid response to a Dugong. So, unfortunately... I'm just gonna have to come in with my own dugong do the same thing again throw a couple more ice ice shards then the icy wind just to debuff their amount of damage that they're gonna do they end up throwing up a shield so they want to really preserve switch advantage which is fine by me gonna no shield this one it is the icy wind so we got the right uh shield call there gonna throw the drill run losing cmp time a little bit troublesome because now we're both minus one attack and they have a one ice shard advantage here as you can tell by their health range here i have two drill runs they should have one maybe one in a bit i think if i'm not mistaken but <clears throat> this drill run gonna be coming in i'm gonna throw one two three and then throw my next one right before they get to their next drill run you want to put this into a range where i can kind of mud shot it down and uh get some energy on swamper coming out of this thing Drill run gonna be enough to take us out. We're coming with the Swampert. Get a nice mud shot down. Three mud shots with of energy. And Swampert with energy is absolutely disgusting. I'm gonna throw five and then the move just for proper move timing. And then I'm gonna try and catch an X scissor here on my Gligar. My opponent smartly holds on to their energy. Then they come in with an Azumarill. So seven wing attacks and then the dig. Dig's gonna do some massive damage. And then I'm gonna throw seven more and then the next, there are four more and then an aerial ace. This should grab a shield from my opponent here. And what I should be doing now is no shielding. I should be no shielding, coming in with the Swampert, building up two back-to-back -back moves, and hopefully a Hydro knocks out. But I don't think from this health range, a Hydro Cannon would be enough to knock out. So I was in a bit of a pickle. I wanted to maybe catch a move, but uh, yeah. We can still pull this out. If we can maybe mud shot down, but should have just thrown my move. I don't know. We probably wouldn't have lived the bubbles anyways. So I kind of needed to farm down, but that was a close one. Uh, nothing I could have really done there. But unfortunately, we do end up with a 4-1 set there to end off the video. Maybe if I, I, I forgot they did four volt switches, then the move, then switch. So maybe if I threw my hydro cannon, we might have been on our four cycle and maybe been enough to live two bubbles before the third one registered. But 
we were at a pretty low health anyways so that would have been a tight one in the end but either way thank you all so very much for watching if you're all liking the content please hit that like button comment if you want to see anything in the future and if you haven't already hit that subscribe button because it really helps out the channel and it is greatly appreciated and we will see everybody in the next video Bye bye